Justy Blocks and we're back in Creatures of Sonaria and I got my name correct today. I know in the last episode, I think it was, I said Just Roscoe, uh, which is my other channel. If you haven't checked that out, go out, go ahead and check it out. Um, it's very different from Justy Blocks, but I very much enjoy it as much as Justy Blocks. So that's always good. Uh, I'm playing, I'm currently playing a, a really beautiful game on there called Coral Island, which I'm a little in love with, I'm not going to lie. Um, but anyway, in today's episode, what are we going to do? We're going to announce the winner of the last Ares giveaway. We're going to do another Ares giveaway, I know. Uh, we didn't hit 500 likes, so it is only one winner, sadly. Um, I'm going to do the same thing on here. If this video gets 500 likes, I will give away two Ares, not one. Um, if you want to enter, it's really simple. If you're new to the channel, this is how it works. At some point during this video, a word will pop up on screen. A random word could be anywhere on the screen. Could be over here, over here, over here. Make a mental note of that word. Put your username in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and hit that like button. Then I'm going to pick someone at random, randomly, randomly, randomly. And then I'm going to, add, I'm going to message you on YouTube and go, what is the secret word? If you can tell me what that secret word is, you've won yourself an Ares. It's that simple. Be warned, if you put the secret word in the comments below, your comment will be removed and you will not be entered into, into the uh, draw. I'm being distracted by this. Halloween store. Yeah, we got a Halloween. Halloween part one, isn't it? Halloween event part one is here. Do you know what? We're going to go... We're, we're going to go with the, cre the, the cute creature we got. What was the cute creature? It was here somewhere. It, it looked adorable. We haven't played as it yet. We've got a couple we haven't played as. Um, bear with me. I'm going to find it. There it is. The Gobly. Oh, it's just... Look how cute it is. It almost reminds me a bit of Toothless out of How to Train Your Dragon. Look at that cute little face. Okay, so these squishy little goobers waddle around endlessly looking for playmates. Its eyes are full of childish innocence. Uh, goblies are extremely oblivious to any dangers that might be lurking. Oh, that sounds like me. Uh, usually these amphibians can befriend such predators. Ah, oh, so they make friends with the predators. But on the rare occasion their charms fail, there can be dire consequences. <laughs> oh, oh, this sounds promising. Uh, so what do I get? Like, where? Oh, creatures. <gasps> We've got two new creatures. Undali. That's not new, is it? And ne neither of those are new, right? Those are just available again, I presume. Plushes. We've got the ghost. We've got the cat. We've got the owl and we've got a dragon. Okay. So we just have to collect wisps. I remember this. We had this before, right? Let's jump in. Let's see what this thing looks like. <laughs> Adorable is the word. <gasps> Look at it. Oh, I'm a little in love with this creature. It's so cute. And look at the palette. Okay, half the palette's blue. But if you take those out, we've got some good colours in there. As always, I'm going to come up with three colour schemes. Whilst I'm doing that, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Not going to lie, this creature was actually a lot harder to colour than I thought it would be. I thought, oh, do you know what? That's so cute. It looks amazing. It's going to be easy. It's not easy to colour. This is the first skin we come up with. This is the Arctic Blue Finger, uh, named solely because he's got a blue finger. <laughs> I know, imaginative, right? But I, uh, he still looks really cute. He does. In all fairness, I'm not 100% happy with any of these. And I, I do use this on the left. I think if I had more time, I'd probably use the paint pot and do every individual piece. But not if any, anyone who's tried that in this game knows how annoying it can be to get to the small pieces and then you color the wrong piece and there's no back button. And yeah, so we're going with this. So this is the Arctic blue finger. Then we've got the Eastern blossom tail. How could I not do a pink one? How could I? Wait, why? Actually, your belly's... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, if I go back, and then we go back in, like so. If I go load, yeah, there we go. That's the colour of the belly. So, yeah, Arctic Blue Finger. I know it's something to do with having something selected over here. Someone did comment about that. Arctic Blue Finger, then we've got the Eastern, Eastern Blossom Tail. 
Again, pink. I had to try a pink one. I actually quite like it. I love the little black nose. It's just so cute. And then this is probably my favorite, which is the yellow bellied pink nose. I really like the colors on this. Really like it. So this is probably the one we're going to play as. Let me know in the comments below, which is your favorite? Is it the yellow bellied pink nose? Is it the Eastern blossom tail? Or is it the Arctic blue finger? We're going to go with this one. Is there a difference between male? There is. Is it just, yeah, so males, males have a bit under the chin there. Can I get a good view on it? See this little bit under the chin here? Females don't. That's the difference. Well, you know what? We might as well have it. Why would we not have it if we could have it? So we're going to play as male. Let's jump in. Let's see what this thing can do. Of course. Oh, wait, it just popped to life. I was going to say, of course, it's nighttime, but it popped to life. I already love how this moves. I haven't even had a proper look. And just from above, it looks so cool. It looks all hunched. And let's come over here. So let's have a proper look at it. We're so small and cute and adorable. Oh, look at the idol animation. How its head moves and... Oh, look. I'm in love with this creature. It's so cute. Walking-wise, we're quite quick. We seem to walk on our heels. It's not very easy to see here. Ah, oh, here's better. We see, Yeah, we seem to walk on our heels. Our toes sort of flip up. Bit different. What do we look like when we run? We should avoid the tree. Oh, no, don't fly. Don't fly. <laughs> we haven't got to that point yet. I was going to do the run. <laughs> I got confused. Oh, oh, we're quick. <laughs> we're really quick. Oh, we can hide under the bushes. Oh, that's... Oh. There's something over there. Okay. I like it. So let's glide. Let's see what we look like when we glide. Oh, we look so cute. I don't know. I just think it's our, our sort of small, compact form. I like it. And we, we're also semi-aquatic, right? So let's do it. We're in. Um, Swimming animation's okay. Oh, it's all about the tail. It's all about the tail. I'd imagine having your wings out like that would cause drag in the water and make it harder work to swim. Just, just a sort of... Just a thought there. Oh, it's gone foggy. A tiny little creature like this in the fog is going to be in trouble. We need to find food. Should we have a sniff? Oh, no, we can't sniff. It's foggy. <gasps> okay. And we also have to find... Wisps, is it? We need to look out for wisps. How are we doing mission-wise? I still haven't unlocked this creature. This one here. Because it annoyed me. If you remember, heal 20 necro points because I, 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 I leveled up. That was all ruined. Stay invisible for 15 minutes. We will get you eventually, creature. We will. Daily missions. Survival missions. Sniff. I can't sniff. It's foggy. <laughs> We need food. Oh, we look so cute. Look at our little... What, we sort of... Plop, 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 plop. <laughs> I like this creature. Foody, 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 food. Do you know, I've had a game crash, so I had to come back in. I haven't eaten yet. This is the first time I've eaten, and we've already leveled up. <laughs> it's like... Okay. Look how cute we look. Oh, we look amazing. Oh, we like our food. I quite like the eating animation. Let's do that again. We use a hand look. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're full. We're full. Let's take to the sky. We're looking for wisps, remember? Wisps are important. Plenty of food around. I have no idea where we're going to find wisps. I know other people are looking for them as well. So, it may be a battle to find the wisps. Oh, tree. There's a wisp. There's one. I want it. Oh, loads of wisps. A wisp and a, a token of some description. Thank you very much. We're up to 50 wisps. Lovely. How many do we need? 5,000. <laughs> oh... I feel like I don't spend enough time in this game to ever 
ever get that many, but we're going to give it a go. Do the wisps only appear in certain places? Because I remember the wisps appearing over here before. We look so cool when we glide. There's just nothing to dislike about this creature. I think it's beautifully made so far. We haven't checked out all the animations, which we always do once we get fully grown. There's a wisp. My wisp. Yay! <laughs> if you haven't started collecting wisps yet, I, I, I suggest you get into the game and start collecting. You've Actually, most people have probably saved up enough wisps to get those creatures from last time. He says, I think there's new creatures in the Robux store. I think there's two. Find Basili, <laughs> which is probably pronounced completely wrong. Oh, I never come to snow. This is nice. I'm impressed that these flowers have managed to grow in, in this cold climate. It's like, yay, just sitting here now, enjoying the flowers. Uh, yeah, Basili in the Robux, uh, Robux shop and... Galliostra? Galliostra in the Galaxy Explorer. Okay. Again, we need shrooms for that. And shrooms is what I'm lacking. I did have 2,340, but I just spent a thousand on a new storage slot. Because in the last episode we got a new a new glimmer, and I need storage spots to put me glimmers in. I feel like the the storage spots are a little expensive, if I'm honest, or you don't get enough of them. Dev, sort out. We need more storage spots included. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there's a sheep. <gasps> oh, there's a Kendall. Oh, oh, we're just going to avoid you. <laughs> no, don't come this way. Please don't come this way. I'm eating. Ah. <laughs> no. Oh, we're fully grown. That was quick. Running, 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 running. Oh, we got a little waddle when we run. <gasps> I like this creature. Oh, they're chasing me. I say they're chasing me. They might just be friendly. <laughs> Maybe. I don't like taking the chance. It's very hard to trust people in this game. <laughs> oh, let's go up here. Here. Here's a good spot. We should be fairly safe here, I'd imagine. So let's check out our animations. So we've got sitting animation. Oh, you just look so cute. I need a plushie of one of these. I think it's about time creatures of Sonaria start doing plushies of their cute creatures. Um, we've got the lion animation. Again, lovely transition between the two. I do like to see a good transition between sitting and lying. That's very nice. Uh, stand up for me. Let's do an N animation. Oh, look, he's got his little paws. He's just... Oh, that's that's quite nice. It's quite nice. He's just sort of going, yep, yeah, just moving the dirt around, making myself a little lion spot. Lovely. Uh, bite animation. Again, very nice. Don't get dark on me, game. Don't get dark. It's going to get dark. I'll bring you back when the sun comes back up. We interrupt this program for a very special announcement. We need to announce the winner of the Ares giveaway for the Sun Shrimp episode. The Sun Shrimp episode. So, drum roll, please. And our winner is Mike the Drake. Mike the Drake, I have uh, messaged you on YouTube. If you can give me the secret words, you have won yourself an Aries. Round of applause for Mike the Drake. Now, back to the show. We're now an elder as well. And we, we just look beautiful. I love this creature. Anyway, where were we? We were looking at the aggro animation. <gasps> Do you fall over? Oh, you're so adorable. Is that? Like, ah, I'm going to be fierce. Oh, no. Fail. Fierce. Fail. <laughs> oh, and cower. Oh, my God. Look how cute that is. Look. And then he looks up. He goes, have they gone? No. <laughs> oh, I like this creature. Have you got a cute voice? Let's find out. Call number one. Call number two. 
Call number three. And call number four. Again, I like the mouth animation. A lot of the creatures have this issue. Ready? Watch. There, where you, can, where you can see the neck through the back. I know that's part of building it. But little things like that annoy me. I don't know why, they just do. But apart from that, this is absolutely beautiful. I, the cower animation, look. It's just like that. Have they gone? No, I can't. I can't. Oh, I just can't. <laughs> I'm not sure he'd ever swim with this creature, if I'm honest. I know it's like semi-aquatic. But I don't feel like I need to swim with it. I like that when you're speeding through the water. That animation's lovely. He's using those big wings to pull him through, which is really nice. Is there any wisps in the water? If not, I want to complain. Because why should wisps be only for land-based creatures you've done all this work under here you've made it absolutely stunning the new food system is beautiful down here yet all the wisps are on land hmm i feel we need like a an ocean revolution <laughs> so anyone at the oasis today hello let's go and have a look this might be a bad idea, because I'd imagine we're quite easy prey. I'd imagine. Oh, there's a lot of meat around. There's blue meat and green meat, and... Did you kill all these people, sir? Are you the vicious one? Oh, he is. He is. He's killing people there. <laughs> oh, he's a big meanie. Maybe he's just protecting his territory. Oh, we've got radiation sickness. What? Since when? <laughs> I'm going to sit here and watch. Even more excitingly, I've just discovered something else. Ready? Boop! We cling to the wall! And we cling to the wall beautifully. I really like... If we, if we had a flat surface, let me see if I can find a flatter surface. That's fairly flat, right? Ish. Ish. Boom. I love how he clings to the wall. It doesn't line up with the wall very well, but if you look at it from this angle, that looks amazing. That's what those massive suckers on the, the hands are for. Oh, oh, one of my favourite creatures. Hands down. This is shot up there. Let me know what you think about this creature in the comments below. Have you played as it? Do you like the look of it? Do you want to get it? I just think it's a fun little creature. It's cute. It's versatile. It's easy to grow. I think it's got a lot going for it. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. That token we found was a mutation explorer token, which is amazing. That means we can spin the gacha. We've got a 50-50 chance of a creature we don't have, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. Let's click that button. Click me. Spin me. We're going to get one of these. This is exciting. I like it when there's a chance that I'm going to get one. Well, I, not even a chance. I guarantee I'm going to get one I don't have yet. That looks like a very fearsome creature. Welcome to the family, fearsome creature. Oh, you've unlocked the semi-aquatic. What? What? Oh, you've unlocked the toxic gacha. Okay. Hello. I think something's gone very wrong. I've unlocked these many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> Stop it. And I'm going to leave it there. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.